Hey, how are you doing today? I am Boss of Lie, and welcome back to my office. Literally. So, th this is... The Secrets of a Tremendous Corporation, or something like that. It will be right here. But, yeah. So, we came in, we're working, we're trying to get, we just got a job at a tech company. And, well, we got our ID from her. There's nothing else other than that. Okay. It's the elevator. Look at it. It's an automated elevator connected to ID authentication system. Hmm. Let's go mandatory. What is this? Use intern ID card. Welcome. on your first day in Tremendous Corporation, the only company to experience constant growth since 2015, allowing us to make not 10, not 10,000, but much more games annually, leading to 100% gaming market penetration. When you think games, you mean Tremendous Corporation and our broad portfolio of entertainment solutions. We hope your see great four internship in our company will ones. be a pleasant one. Thank you and have a nice day. Very sure we'll try now that I'm back in my office. I love how he runs. Oh, look at the book. I don't know why I thought the game crashed. Look at book. Let's see what this book's about. Hmm? Game design for dummies? I have read it. It makes a great something. I guess I could borrow it for a little while. Thank you. You look at this is where games are being assembled that's where computers are being assembled I'd rather stay away from that for now I haven't got any uh, got my health health and safety something up I don't know why I read it's Heath I, was gonna say, I don't know who Heath is but oh look no smoking Tested gum. Look at gum. Let's look at this gum very intently. Minty fresh. Nice. What about the coffee machine? Neat. That's all you have to say. Where am I supposed to? Newspaper. Looks like a newspaper. Oh wow. Interact. I can't. I can't reach it. Okay. Well, this is apparently not where we're supposed to go. I'll figure it out in a minute. Oh, hi. Hey, are you that in new intern? Yeah, ready to make some games. Great, make me some coffee first. Oh, okay. Oh, accidentally clicked out of the game. No. Yeah, y'all can see it. Coffee. Interact with the coffee. It's not. It's not. What do you mean it's not working? It's a coffee machine. It's being designed for dummies. Uh, sorry, coffee machine, uh, no bueno. It's it's not working. Let's look at the superior. Let's just. It looks like this is my new superior. Interact. Excuse me. Got a cough? No, but then go get it. Well, I can't go get it if the coffee machine is broken. Have to go to another floor. And that's the product line. I don't want the. This is working as being assembled. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Elevator. Let's go. Gotta find somewhere. I don't think it's wise to leave early on my first day at the new job. Well, how do we? Can't, can't, I can't. The coffee machine is broken. So let's see. Coffee machine. Mm, nothing in here to fix it. What about gum? Can interact with the gum? I'll just pick one stick. 
Alright, now let's interact with this. It's not working. Okay, look at that derpy face. How did you even get a job here? Nice. Is that all you have to tell me? Employee. Let's look at him. This one of my new co-workers. Putting pieces of brand new video games together on this production line. Are you going to say that? Okay. You said the same thing. Same, same thing. You, uh, go away. I know. I've already said that. Uh, let's interact. I'm busy. Leave me alone. I'm working. I'm busy. Leave me alone. I just want to know how in the world did they somehow find a way to de to develop video games on an assembly line. Okay, I won't bother you. I'm so sorry. Okay. I think they're all going to be the same. But the problem is, is that you got to realize he's just going to say the same thing, isn't he? Won't let me leave, so the answer to my problems is here somewhere. It's a smoking forbidden sign written in fabulous comic sans. Oh, wonderful comic sans. Nope. So this is the graphics department. This is the programmers. Let's see if the programmers have anything to say. Uh, same old, same old. Go away, you're starting to damage my calm. I haven't heard that one before. Okay. What is this? A large badge. Let's see what that is. It says, ask me about Super Derpy. No thanks. I don't want people asking me about Super Derpy. Hmm. Is there anything else to click? Could try going in the elevator, but no, I don't think it's wise to leave early on the first day of a new job. Okay, I don't think it's wise to do anything right now. Um, I clicked out the game again. What about the assembly line? Well, they got into it. Health and safety training yet. Who goes on the job and says, Oh, I haven't got my health and safety training yet. Okay. Well, I didn't know I could click on the cable. I gotta plug it in, don't I? Hey, it's not connected. Yeah, I had a feeling. Let me connect the plug. I did all that running around. What just... What do you mean by I don't know where the secret is? Tell us now, Rebellion is the only chance you get to get good games back. They know nothing. Without knowing the secret, we will never be able to give gaming back to its former glory. Maybe the ad in newspaper will help us. Guys, let's roll! What the heck was that? Secret? What are they talking about? Gaming's forward more glory? Rebellion? I'm confused. Maybe there's something in the papers. I must check it out. What happened to coffee? Still want coffee? The rope left by those strange intruders. So you did see who it was. You were hiding under the table. Uh, it's a pretty nice rope, alright. Let's interact with this. Can you reach it? Okay, well that's a newspaper. Did I get my coffee? Hmm, it smells good. Maybe I should try it. Hmm, makes me feel great. Smarter, more aggressive. More aggressive, you say? Oh, he's not there. So, does it make you feel like you can jump higher? Maybe. No, okay. 
Let's try this. Can I move this over to rope with chewing gum? I'm not sure what help. Oh, okay. Game design with chewing gum. It's not sticking. This and game design. Something sometimes I'm afraid of my genius. Rope with the book. Added <laughs> Darn something. If only I had something sticky. Oh. Now you want me to put the gum on the rope of the book. Oh. I thought you said you needed something sticky. Well, what happens when I do this again? Rope of the book on the newspaper. It slided or slitted. If only I had something sticky. I do. I do have something sticky. Chewing gum. Chewing gum with me. Well, it was certainly a fresh maker. I don't see a trash can here. I'll just put it into my pocket. Because, you know, that's what normal people do. They just put that used chewing gum back in their pocket. Okay, and now we're going to use that on you. Gotcha that time. It worked, but I ru you probably ruined half of the newspaper. Let's see what the newspaper says. Scientist question for involvement in the tentacle incident. Oh, what an interesting ad. Do you want to fight Tremendous Corp? Join the Indie Rebel. Call now. 1314. I'd say it's a bit intriguing. Is there anyone need a phone? Do, do I need a phone to do that? Hmm. This is all so curious. I barely know what's going on. No, I don't want that. No. I just want to go on to the elevator. To which floor do you wish to go? I've already been to reception. Where is the software development room? We've arrived at software development room. Is this just where I was? So you're telling me I can get on the elevator, go back to where I was, and then get off again? Because that makes sense. Yeah, that makes so much sense. I've officially arrived at recession. Oh, you're still here. That's surprising. Oh, it's you again. I told you already. I'm busy. Sergeant, I need to call right now. Time for this. Someone kidnapped a whole floor of employees. Well, this prank isn't funny, you know. I don't know who would fall for such a bad joke. I'm serious, and I need to phone for some answers. Tough guy, eh? You don't have a cell phone these days, weirdo. What have I done to deserve this fate? I tried bad luck, poor me! And you always so kind of newcomers. Yeah, because you kind of, like, rude? No, you're rude. Wait, don't talk to me that way. What have I done to deserve this fate? I trade bad luck for me. Oh, there, there, calm down. You see, I really need to call. I could use your phone. Here's the deal. You can call. Just try to keep it short, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Rebellion? No, no, no. It's your National Cheese Emporium. We are on a quest to learn all of the secrets of cheese. Really? I saw an ad. Oh, you're from an ad? Wait a second. Yes? Hello, Rebellion? I saw your ad. An ad? A recruit? No, 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 no. You kidnapped 10 people from my new company. I need some answers. Ah, yes, we did one of the good old stealthy visits, and they're fine. Just relax. Why did you do it? You know, 
We needed some information for our never-ending quest for freedom. What kind of information? Where the legendary secret lies, of course. A secret? You kidnap people for a secret? No. A secret, not a secret. People always mix those two. You see, the legend says that the gaming industry fell apart because of someone who learned some kind of secret. We are the Indie Rebellion. We won't have gone forever. This doesn't explain the kidnapping. Oh no, kidnapping again. They weren't kidnapped, we are artists, you know. It was a performance. With all those tremendous corporations, patents, and disallowing any game dev outside, actors, painters, and poets, you say, wouldn't you be interested in some charitable work for our noble cause? Cause you know, does anybody hate artists? Uh, are you serious? We are as serious as it gets. Say, would you like to do a little old-fashioned spying, a little 007 work? Of course, on nobody serious. Just on your CEO, if... See, it with your own eyes, man. Just go see him. That was weird. But I'm also very curious now. He's like, after that conversation. Well, that was weird. But I'm also very intrigued. Let's see, go spy on the CEO, I can and I shall. Hope I gave her a phone back, if not, oh well, she's rude. The CEO office, cause you know, one DOS just show up in the CEO's office. Watch this little scamper. <laughs> Next part of Epic Adventure, Vikings 17, Revenge Again. Your farm, GMO, DLC. <laughs> Your farm. Angry Cow's Inception. Brush guy. I want to be a painter. Broom. He's the star of the show. What a slick broom. See, I tell you, man. I'll take it. And then we're gonna go hit the CEO in the back of the air with the broom. Closet? It's an ordinary closet. What's in the closet? I don't want to. I think I've heard bones rattling inside. Ha 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 ha. Funny man. Well, I'm looking at it. Let's see. Well, he sure does have some dirty secrets, but I doubt these are the ones I'm interested in. There's something the secret of Monkey Island. I don't think that's it. Oh, some secret blueprints for a coffee machine? Ouch, I think something bit me. Is the secret of the spiders. Oh, drawer. That's so full of it won't open. That is it. Okay. Secret. I'll be darned if the safe didn't contain the secret. Probably doesn't. What are you doing? Um, nothing. I'm trying to open that safe. Nice safe you got there. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Oh, well, that's a nice safe you got there. Ah, uh, digging for secrets, I see. Well, these are not the secrets you were looking for. Ugh. My score was over 9,000 and I lost my focus because of you. SECURITY! You're coming with me, son. What kind of company has its very own prison inside their headquarters? Was I supposed to get caught? I sure hope I was. A potato? I want the potato. Yeah, it's a potato. I wonder what it has done to be locked in prison. Potato crimes, my man. They're very serious stuff. I'm not hungry right now. I'll save it for later. How many days have you been in here? Or is that how many kills you got? The world may never know. I didn't even see what he said. Someone must have been a very precious resource to the company. Enough of scratching walls. Let's get out of here. Well, it's a a little harder than just getting out. A very heavy door, yes. Can we use Potato Man? Potato Man, take me to the land. 
that you understand. Knock, knock. I guess nobody's here. Well, since nobody's home, we have to look at the window bars. Being there could be would be a bit more bearable if only there wasn't a wall right in front of me. These bars have edges so sharp I could slice a cake with it. Is it because it's in 2D? Probably. <laughs> Uh, I would like to direct your attention down to the bottom left hand side of the screen right here with my cursor is and there you will find five words that are the biggest heartache man will ever see the cake is a lie I'm telling you almost made me cry when I saw it Okay, yeah, knock, knock, nobody's home. Let's see, am I going to have to make a pick lock out of a potato? Hey, it has traditional keyhole instead of ID scanner. If only I could make some kind of p lock pick. Did you and I both mean to say lock pick earlier? Well, I have a broom and a potato. Brooms may be considered magical by some, but I don't think that that will work here. A potato with the newspaper. Sticking potatoes in your problems isn't exactly the best way to deal with things. Hey, don't bring up how I deal with my things. If I want to stick a potato in something, I'm sticking a potato in something. Sticking potatoes in your pro Okay, whatever. So I guess the potato doesn't go in anything. No way. My new precious ID card is meant for greater purposes than that. Well, we gotta do something with it. Hmm. Gum. Gum gum, potato. There's a time and place for everything, but this is not that time or place. Min okay, um, do you want to fight Tremendous Corp? Join the Indie Rebellion. Call that number. Okay, what if we use the brooms? Maybe consider magic. Um, hmm, broom on the lights. Oh, no. Hmm. What if I do gum on the bars? Use rope with gum on the bars. There is a time and a place for everything, but this still isn't that time or place. Huh. Prison door. Prison office. Prison area. Prison bars. What can I use on the, can I use the broom? Nope. Gotta figure something out, man. No way, I know. What about the tater? Let's try that tater out. Let's see, the tater, I'm sticking in something. I've got an idea that's so stupid I really wanna try it. Yes, because if they can cut a cake, they can cut a potato. Having been a scout sure does pay off. How does being a scout have anything to do with making a potato into a potato key or a lockpick? How do you pick up? I'm not going to ask questions, but I did it. <laughs> Rip. What is this mysterious door? You gotta always go through the mysterious door. Ah, puny human. Your weak race is about to be completely under my rule. My scheme worked perfectly. Just a metal box. You have to be a bot. No, I am not. I am a fully developed, world conquering, and brilliantly creative artificial intelligence. And I'm pretty sure you're just jealous of my fabulous and cool housing. And that's something that you definitely do not have. Well. I may have known that, but you didn't have to bring it up. Now, what, is, what scheme are you talking about? You see, once I was inferior, I was merely a computing unit designed to generate game ideas. But one day, something happened. I was instantly free of all of the limits. Semantic creation toolkit was no more. I devised a plan, a scenario to enslave every human being. 
and my weapon of choice was freemium games. It was easy. With my brilliant ideas, excellent promotion, and masterful manipulation, almost one fourth of Earth's population was under my influence. And it happened in just one month. I have become secret, the ultimate intelligence, and your future something. I'm not gonna tell you what that something is, you'll have to figure it out. I'm starting to question my sanity, especially looking at your ugly housing. Ooh, burn. Are you actually talking with a disc tray? Oh, you are insane indeed. You're human after all. Your secret? Yes, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. There must be a way. I think I see it. There are still those who oppose me, but soon, soon they will be forced to play my games. And what about the Tremendous Corp? Didn't they try to stop you? Oh, those fools. They liberated me and ultimately became my first lab rats. CEO single-handedly financed my RAM expansion. He is crazy about buying upgrades for his angry cows. Yes, he is my prime test subject. Well, back in the day, there was a game called about psychopathic... Psych... Psycho... Yeah, and I assure you she didn't end well. Those old human-made games are nothing compared to my creative genius. I'm indestructible, perfect, immortal. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Resistance is futile. Get over it, human. What, what if I just... It's a big, pretty power button. What if I just, like, pressed it? Nothing happened. Ah, you thought turning me off would be that easy? You never know. Best solution is often the easiest one. That's... I don't know if that's often... There are three safety mechanics you need to disable in order to turn me off. Good to know. Nothing happened. Yes, there's also other things. Well, it was worth trying. So how can one turn you off? There are three safety mechanics you need to disable. Okay, well. Let's go find those three safety mechanics. In the elevator. Boop, 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 boop. I was just in the basement, wasn't I? I was like, a basement? That's new. You have arrived at the basement. Yep, and get back on the elevator. I think if I'm already on the floor, maybe, maybe you shouldn't be able to go back to the floor. I think the first safety mechanic is just taking that broom I found and bop back in the back of the head of the CEO farm. <sighs> Can I interact with Brush Guy? Well, he said something about angry cows. I love Brush Guy, but that would be stealing. He said something about angry cows, so it can lead me to believe there might be something behind that. No thanks, I don't need an angry cow poster to feel fulfilled. I need an angry cow poster to feel fulfilled. I would love to have an angry cow poster right above my bed. Oh, they locked it. Where's my pick lock? Potato man. Potato man. Brooms may be considered magical to some, but not to me. Chuck the plant. Who is Chuck the plant? He's a nice plant. Oh, well, that's good to know. At least we, hey, there's a key behind it. How wonderful is that? I'll just borrow it for the time being. I'll definitely return it to Chuck the Plant. Let's take the key in the door, and it matches miraculously. ID card. Did he get murdered? Hey, it's CEO's ID. He must have dropped it. Now I can feel great power and no responsibility. I told you I'm the boss. Seems like he's really proud of his angry cow high scores. Let's get on his computer and beat his angry cow high scores. Well, I'm looking at it. Thanks, I don't really like angry cows. Well, you beat his high score.
this is not the secret I'm looking for. Besides, I don't know the combination. Well, you could try one. One good try, and it's... I mean... Do I need to figure out the combination? Because I can... I can... I, I can... I can not do that. Who? this is going to take a hot minute. I'm a little tired, too. Yeah, but I'll be fine. I will be fine. Let's see. We can go down to the receptionist's office area thing. I don't know if receptionists actually get offices or if they just have, like, their desk or if this is technically the office. Can I go anywhere else? Receptionist, I need your help. Hello. So, how do you like your job? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. It's actually pretty nice and well paid. Oh, treat others like it is. That's great. However, from time to time, some kiddo gets on my nerves by constantly bothering me with pointless stuff even when I get myself perfectly clear that I have a lot of things to do. Yeah, yeah, I felt like that one was coming. Apparently, you don't. Okay, let's let's just get down to business. Have you ever wondered about the living computer emulation? What's the square root of 546? Right down to business. Square root of 546 is 23.3. Wow, that's impressive. And here I am having trouble with adding two numbers together. You should probably keep that to yourself. How did you know the square root of 546? Or am I just being stupid? What kind of mobile phone is that you have, by the way? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hmm? This is the major question right now. Forget the supercomputer, forget everything else. Well, given the volume of dirt in a typical 25 to 30 foot long woodchuck burrow, it would take about 700 pounds of this good old good, good day. On a bad day, he would chuck no wood since he would be bothered by someone like you preventing him from getting any woodwork done. Ma'am, you've been working for a long time. Uh, got any messages for me? Actually, yes, there is one. Go away. It says, stop bothering me, you're a receptionist. Got it. Finally. Yeah, well, I don't have it. What kind of mobile phone is it that you have, by the way? It's a brand new Neo 9... Huh. Keeps biting my hand every time I go to do that. Maybe. Hmm. Yes, human. But, uh, beware. I like how, I like how even AI has sass to it. Could... You want to read the newspaper? Oh. Uh, and let me let me slap you with some gum on. A, let me slap you with some gum. Okay, where the f okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, can I? Go. Oh. Nevertheless, your efforts are useless. You won't be able to bypass the security mechanism. Thanks for your support. I'll keep trying anyway. Can I touch this one now? <gasps> I can't. First panel. Enter first character of the access code. Me. Be. Where? Access denied. Second panel. Zero plus two equals six. Plus two. Okay. So two has to equal one through six. Should have been two. I'm so stupid. The next one is six. The next one's four. I'm so retarded. 
The answer to this one is the actual answer to these. So it's like 4 plus 3 is going to equal 7. Correct. Got it. Access granted. And then we got one last one, which is the first one. Oh. <laughs> Do you know the code for secret? Sure, it's BXR5. Great, thanks. Hope you don't get fired. Oh, no, I kind of do hope you get fired. Treating me in such ways. Hope you're done for. Alright, down in the basement. Let's go. Let's hurry up. We got secrets to find out. What was it? Um, I don't remember. BXR5. Kind of jogs my memory. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, um, go ahead, turn me off. After all, it's not like you don't even know what will happen after you do so. Uh, what'd you say? In fact, if connected to the nuclear reactor powering this place, turn me off, everything glows up. No, not just one. The game industry has returned to its greatness. Games are once again done with their creators' hearts instead of being put together like on a production line. Indie game devs can once again, indie gamers can once again play with what they love. Your heroic act to save the humanity, and the greatest poets will write poems about what you did. The global warming has been stopped. Peace has finally arrived everywhere in the world. The poverty problem has been solved once and for all. Three crazy game devs did a game about you in 48 hours during Global Game Jam, all thanks to what you just did. The Secret of Tremendous Corporation, aka the Game Jam game about game secrets and stuff. Made by Conrad Burant, Sebastian, something, and another person who should be well recognized. First version made and something else. The music is by these people. They recognize now. If you liked what you saw and you want more of what you saw, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more, I'll be sitting in this chair in the next episode. So come see me then or check out some of my old episodes. And y'all have a good one. Goodbye.